Hello everyone, thanks for taking a look at this video. Today we will be doing a deep dive on the AMD Radeon RX 5500 4GB and taking a look at its performance in 2023. I was recently tinkering around with this card while putting together my 5600G video and was surprised at how well it did in the handful of games I tested. The 5500 series cards originally launched in October of 2019 Based on the official specs provided on AMD's website, there is almost no difference between the vanilla 5500 and the 5500 XT. The only differences I found are that the 5500 XT has a very slightly higher game frequency estimate and can have up to 8GB of VRAM. But outside of the potential higher quantity, the VRAM has the same performance on both cards. I recall the 5500 series originally receiving a lackluster response from reviewers, but they are actually faster than the more recently released RX 6400 and RX 6500 range of cards. This comes into play even more so when you consider that the 5500s have 8 PCI lanes as opposed to the 64 and 6500 series only having 4 PCI lanes. This has been demonstrated to be very problematic when those newer cards are on older motherboards that use PCI Express 3.0. So 5500 series cards are oftentimes the better option for budget gamers, especially when you consider that they are very similar in performance to the very popular NVIDIA GTX 1066 GB and the AMD RX 580. You can still find these new online, and they also still come in some new budget pre-built PCs. On top of that, you can find them for really low prices used on eBay. So for the testing today, I will be showing how the RX 5500 4GB performs at 1080p in 10 modern and intensive gaming titles. So we can see how this card holds up against the demands of gaming in 2023. I have a mixture of in-game benchmarks and actual gameplay to show you. The test setup I used was an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X with a 240mm liquid cooler, 32GB of RAM running at 3333MHz, all on an ASUS TUF B450M Plus 2 motherboard. For those of you that like to see the charted data, I have included that after the video demonstrations and will review it during the wrap up at the end of this video. If you are finding this content helpful or entertaining, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this one in the future. All right, let's get into the game tests. Too fast for me. Come on, sorcerer, catch us! Hey, slow down. You'll exhaust our villain. This is your tower. It's evil. Doesn't he ever get tired? I really should get back to studying. Come on, we had a long journey today. Please, Mother said to try to exhaust him. Be brave, sorcerer. Your fight is far from over. Your mother's going to wonder where we are. It's been a long road. You have the right to stretch your legs. <sighs> yes. Amicia! Look at that. A castle. Let's go see. Yeah! All right, then. <laughs> Time to run. Hugo, you're gonna sweat like a hog. I am sweating like a hog. <laughs> it's good for you. <sighs> I like your new home. It's a castle. <laughs> All right. Jump drive in position. Close. Shooting. Finding them. Off the mic. 
I'm spotted. Let's check out that area. Body shield here. Level four. Only the best for my friends. Rings nearby. One minute till close. The enemy stands before us. Opening shop. Come see the merchandise. 45 seconds. Ring ain't far. Rings just ahead. My abilities are gone.
I'm the strongest of the torn clothes. I'm impressed you made it this far. My clothes are extremely strong. I'm taking you with me! Sh just stay alive! I honestly, I don't think they were. We're new at this and it was pretty easy to kill them all. Ah. Uh -huh.
So now that you've seen the test videos, we come to our charted results. We can see that the RX 5500 4GB manages to get near or over 60 FPS and even manages to get into some gaming monitor level frame rates at lower and or competitive settings. The introduction of FSR upscaling has really helped the GPU keep up with the times. Based on my experience with this card, I would say that finding an 8GB 5500 XT version would be your best bet. As I ran into a couple of instances where I felt like there was GPU performance headroom available to up the visuals more, but not enough VRAM to actually cover it. So to sum it up, the AMD RX 5500 series is a solid option for a 1080p budget gaming PC in 2023. Please let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comments section. And thanks so much if you've stuck around to the end of this video. I hope to see you in the next one.